So we just finished Dark Horse. It's a bit of a departure for me. I said goodbye to the electronica. I was so vigilant in the studio. They were just like, uh, let's put some cool sounds. I'm like, no, it must be acoustic. Uh, there must be live instruments. So uh, I'm a little nervous having done that. We even in the studio decided uh, no click track. Usually you play to a metronome so that you can then multi-track and layer things and cut around. But we had amazing dynamics. I have an amazing band on this project. Through, through the 80s and a lot of the 90s, it, uh, record production became rather piecemeal where you'd, you'd play on the basic track, but there always was the understanding that everything was going to get replaced and the vocal, even if there was a vocal, it was only considered a guide vocal. And uh, so what happens is you step out of the process when you start replacing all those parts. Um, we didn't do that with this record. The, all the instruments you hear on the, you know, the piano, bass, drums, and uh, guitar, they're all the parts that got played as we were, you know, playing the song with Laura. One of the themes in this new album, Dark Horse, is um, redemption and hope. And a lot of the songs have that. They start out in melancholy and they break through something. And, you know, I, I sort of think of the record as really the shortest weekend workshop that you can do. <laughs> if you just want to, you know, end up at a lightness of being and a sense of, you know, redemption. And, and I believe everyone deserves redemption. I think one of the things Laura does is incorporate a lot of different ideas uh, into her music. Like she has actually quite a wide background um, in influences of the music that she's listened to growing up and, and listened to as an adult. And uh, I think on this record we were able to kind of explore some of those different territories but keep it still within uh, her identity as an artist. The first single that we're releasing is Glass Hill. Though I was writing my way through, you know, as a sense of isolation and disconnection in the song, there's a great hope and optimism in Glass Hill. And the greatest thing is I just I love my band so much and I just can't wait to get out there and play for people. And it's just such a joy to like just look across the stage and watch someone going for it on a solo and just looking around the room, you know, when I don't have to be on, right? And just going, oh, it's so amazing to watch people respond and, and feel something. Laura and I have a, a, a mutual friend and, and director, Scott Weber, and uh, when he started making his film Desolation Sound, uh, I asked her to collaborate with me on uh, one of the themes of the film, which was actually the opening theme. And I wasn't sure what to expect, because I knew her music from listening to her first CD, but uh, she was very keen to give it a shot. So she just took away this little eight bar fragment of music that I'd written, and she took it home on a CD and came back a couple of days later with some really fascinating lyrics. It was a really good collaboration. You're in the timeless hour. I haven't always like fully understood why um, I write even and why I need to, but on the good days I understand that stepping outside of myself can be a really good thing. It can add some perspective and it can help me to actually see myself almost almost as a you know a character in a movie where I don't have to be so attached to the pain. <laughs> <laughs> I was working with a caliber of musicians that uh, uh, really got the music and uh, uh, you, you could make the most subtle kind of suggestion about something and not have to go into detail and not have to repeat yourself because uh, people just understood what was required of them. And uh, so the charts, you know, the music that was written that people looked at while we were recording was very, very basic, uh, very little written. Uh, uh, we relied on the instincts of the players and their experience and their ability to interpret the, the songs. Wrestling with My Angel is about doubt and it's about shrouding yourself in negativity and choosing to do all the wrong things um, and where that lands you 
And it's also about that there just might be some really good positive force trying to urge you to do something else. Couldn't sleep last night because I was wrestling with my angel. Wrestling with my angel. And I know how to fight you. When I went in the studio before, I'd be in the booth and I'd be looking for something, trying to drag something up out of my guts, some sort of emotional thing. When I was playing with the band, the guys, it was like swimming in water. It was, the zone was everywhere. Just, so I just had to follow and be surprised a lot by what was happening around me. For This Is It, I wanted to write a song that had this Hank Williams type you know, feel to it and even structure to it. And I was delighted with the intimacy that we found recording the song and, and that um, it was sweet and it made me cry. And it has this feeling like maybe you just want to dance around in your kitchen to it. This is it, I quit, won't wait, another life long. I think Laura really has something to offer the world because of a keen need to communicate and um, and I think that's what really caught me in her music you know um, uh, that and a great voice and, and a fabulous personality there's a lot of things in, in the package that make it an appealing project to be involved in and uh, once again it's just down to the fact that it's really about something and uh, it's very beautiful music and uh, you know it's just a pleasure to be involved in it. I'm really excited about bringing the CD out to the world. The thing I'm most interested in, uh, the area of greatest development for me, is going into the live thing, full on, where um, we get to get out and perform this music. That's why we made the record the way we did. I love the TV and film stuff. I love getting songs on the radio. I had some success with that with my first record. Um, but to me, it's more meaningful to actually go and have an experience with people in a room than it is for them just to hear the CD or just hear it on the radio. It was really important to me to offer people something real. Um, I think we've gotten into very um, overproduced music. Uh, I think that there's been a lot of uh, plasticizing of, you know, this art form called music, and I wanted to go, you know what, let's just do something real, where we feel it, and that's what we looked for in the takes that we chose as well, was that sense where you feel something. And, you know, if you don't feel something, what are you doing it for? It seems so sweet To think of you five years old it seems so far But life has carried you Somehow they know this day goes on.